get bored with stock so I'm a hot rod guy I like changing things so the car has been I see it as as my lifestyle like, especially with my wife Donna Sue is a car girl and she was right out there she's a dream come true for a car guy every car I did you know I did more and more and more and learned more and more and learned how to build engines transmissions but the 37 Chevrolet was always your favorite, favorite car. And you always said you were going to get to that car. It'd be parked in the garage next to another car we were doing or done. When are you going to get to your 37 Chevy? Well, I'm going to get to it. They said my heart, instead of beating, was just kind of rolling back and forth. So. Right. In September of 2008, he was put on the heart transplant list. But then I told him, you are going to have your heart transplant. And I don't know why I feel this way, but something is telling me you're having your heart transplant before the end of October. So finally... I had the, the sandwich right there. It, he was almost ready to take a bite, and a, the doctor came through. Then he just reached over and grabbed the sandwich out of my he hand. He grabbed that going, food. Whoa, he's in a bad mood today. He says, I took your food away because, George, we found you a heart. I said, would you please tell me that again? Please say that again. He says, George, we did. We found you a heart. It's a perfect match. We're doing it tonight. And I just like, oh my gosh. I said, I looked at him and, and we just hugged. I said, somebody had to die. Well, they're not supposed to tell you, but, but a nurse spilled a bean and said, Oh, I heard you got a 21-year-old heart. And I'm thinking, oh, my God. Uh, his name is Jonathan. He was a student, and he was coming home late one night and uh, fell asleep at the wheel. We found that out afterwards. We, we know all though. this because we talked to his mother. He, he was his mother's only child. She said that uh, all the rest of the family didn't want Jonathan to be an organ donor. But... And she Jonathan. upheld his wishes. We got to know each other pretty well. She's so glad that I was the kind of person that got Jonathan's heart. I couldn't believe that we were home. Of course, being that the man that he is, the next day, where was he? Garage. He looked at the car. He goes, I got to get this going again. And I said, yeah, we're home. We're going to be normal. Eight months after heart transplant is when everything went wrong. I called OHSU and I said, look, I said, something's going on. I said, he doesn't feel good. He, sleep, he sits in his chair during the day and he doesn't do anything and he doesn't go in the garage. There must be something wrong. And so immediately they had to schedule a CT scan and it came back as brain lesions in his brain. The whole time... He would not believe what happened to this man. He turned into a different person. It wasn't him. He would get violent and we'd have to hold him down and stuff. That's when I, I, I was walking down this jungle trail yeah. with the vines hanging down. And, and I even kept thinking, the brain is so amazing. I knew, I kind of knew it wasn't real, but it was physically real. I was so tired from all this fight and struggling and everything. I thought, you know what? I think I'm just going to lay down here and sleep for a while. The reason I just didn't really give up is I thought, you know, if if I go, I'm never going to be with Donna again. And that's what really turned me around. I actually lost my mem my total memory. I had zero memory of my childhood. When I got home, She that's when she took me out. I had to show him everything. I didn't even know I had the car. Where I, did we get this house? You know, I didn't know our house. She she took me around, showed me things I've made and done. And After he got acclimated a little bit around the house and the garage, he wanted to deal with his car. So he started to take it apart. He says, I have to take it apart in order to know how to put it back. Well, I honestly didn't know where I was going with the design or no, what kind of car I was building. No, and he had it in his head, or... everything. And he'd have a hard time putting it back together, but he would put it back together, and we'd be out, I'd be out there with him, no, this goes here, this goes here. They're, great, they're great people. They're good people. They're outstanding people. 
when he first came home, I didn't think there was very much left of George, you know. I think that if it wouldn't have been for that car, we probably wouldn't even see him today. I think it was therapeutic. I mean, to be really honest with you, I, I really think that the car and him being around it was, was probably some, some of the therapy that he couldn't have got anywhere else. <laughs> you look at that car. One to do all that, yeah. I mean, especially in the condition he was in, yeah. he's a hell of a tradesman. It was one of those deals where the more you're around it and work with it, it comes back to you, oh yeah, I was going to do that. Mm -hmm. up we the need insurance. to up the insurance on our car because it was appraised. I called and I got Jan on the phone and it seems like she and I hit it off pretty well. So. I started talking to her about the car and George and he had a heart, oh my husband had a heart transplant in 2008 and this and that and then he had problems after and after I told her the story and she was kind of writing some things down, she was telling me about the contest that Haggerty was going, was having and um, would I be interested in, you know, her uh, submitting the story to Haggerty. Hi, Donna. This is Jan from Haggerty. Well, hello there. How you doing? Good. How are you doing? Well, I'm doing okay. Good. And how's George? He's doing okay, too. Good, Donna. <laughs> well, I called to tell you we did have our, um, our voting for the Classic of the Year. Uh -huh. That was last week, and so we got the results this morning, and you and George are the winners. No way. <laughs> yes. Are you serious? I'm serious, Donna. We yep. Wouldn't. Yep. Oh my God! <laughs> I can't stand it. I, I swear, <laughs> George, I can't. <laughs> oh my God! I can't believe it. I'm so. Oh my God! <laughs> How are you? Good. How are you? Oh my gosh! I don't believe this is happening. I said, Oh, you are enjoying the fruits of your labor, aren't you? I said, You are amazing. This is amazing. It's like him, a miracle. <laughs> to me, he's a miracle. <laughs>